G'day guys, uh, today I'm going to be changing the air filter out of my 2021 Ninja 1000SX from the standard air filter to a K&N high flow air filter. Uh, pretty much the only tools you'll need are some hockey straps, Phillips head screwdriver, a set of allen keys most importantly you got your six your five and your four mill uh, and if you can get the allen keys with the uh, rounded uh, pieces on the end so just in case you have to go at a bit of an angle it's much easier uh, you can use a battery drill if you like or a drill driver uh, try and get a longer bit for it and pretty much only use these for undoing the screws if you need to, not doing them up. Uh, because it's quite easy, easy to damage the plastic on the air filter box. Right? Eh? Oh, yeah. A um, mighty tool. Comes in handy. At times. Let's get started. So probably the easiest way I've found to do these is not taking the fairing completely off. Uh, it's quite easy to do. All you have to do is pop this little quick release plug down here, take it out and undo this 4mm Allen key bolt and then after you do them you just pop the whole thing out if you're nice and careful uh, don't reef on it too hard or you'll crack your you know or there's a chance to crack your fairing so just uh, pop it out nice and easily do the same to the other side uh, and then your tank after you've done undone it uh, should lift straight up So to start with, we'll take out the bolts, quite easy to do, and this is why I said use one of these ones with the uh, rounded edges on them, because it's easy to get a little bit of an angle on them. You can just use one of the thinner allen keys to pop this down. Once it's down, you can lever it up. Anything sharp will do, just be careful not to uh, slip if you put too much pressure on it and slip uh, you'll damage the paint so they just come out very easily they pop out so they pop it back out like that and it's ready to go back in now do the same to the other side Now 
see I've just popped the uh, tank uh, bolts out as you can see that's a 5mm allen key goes straight in there uh, now sometimes they're a bit hard to get leverage on that's why it is always a good idea to have screwdrivers with a little hole in it so you can get a bit of leverage so you just pop that in there Put the screwdriver on, just be careful, and crack it. Now you only have to crack it, you don't have to undo it. Once you crack it with the extra leverage, you uh, just undo it as per normal with the Allen key. Or Allen wrench, some people call them Allen wrenches. Okay, that's loose or undone. Now, like I said, you don't have to take your fairings all the way off. They should just pop out if you're careful. So, just a little bit of persuasion there with your fingers. You don't need anything else. As you can see, that's popped out. Now, I'll do the other side. Okay, that's out as well. Okay, all I have to do now is uh, remove the pillion seat and remove my seat so I can get the tank to lift up. And if you're wondering where I've been putting my screws, I've got one of these magnetic trays. They're a great idea. Put your screws in there and they don't go missing. Main seat ones are a six mil. Okay, now it's time to uh, lift up the tank. Just put these here so they're easy to get. Now, when you lift up the tank, 
you do have to uh, stretch these fairings out a little bit just to stop them from here so you don't want to take any paint off and the tank should uh, lift up quite easy these straps will just click into there and usually I go diagonal now don't let tension off tank until you put both of them in because it does move around a little bit all right tank is pretty secure okay it's time to take the air box off there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws, eleven screws. One in the middle, don't forget that one. Again, I'll grab my uh, magnetic tray so I don't lose anything. This middle one usually doesn't come out all the way. Don't try and get it out all the way. You don't need it. As long as it's unscrewed. my uh, drill drive for this just because it's quicker now be careful not to drop any of these screws because if you do you will have to go hunting okay now I've got all the screws out don't forget there's a small clip right at the back here you need to just pull that up it'll come straight off don't forget to put it back on. Okay, that should just lift off without too much drama. Now just sit that aside somewhere where it won't get dirty. And drop the screw out, obviously. Now if you're doing it straight away, you should be able to get away without plugging these uh, intakes up. But if you're going to leave it for any length of time or you think something you might get in there, it's always a good idea to put something in them, plug them up a bit. Now, this is the OEM filter. You can see it's uh, stainless, on, stainless mesh on one side, uh, paper on the other side. It's in not too bad, Nick. Uh, the bike is only uh, one year old. It's only got uh, nine nine thousand kilometres on it, so wouldn't expect that to be too bad. It is nice and clean in there. If it's dirty at all, just uh, get a vacuum cleaner and give it a clean out. But that all looks pretty clean in there.
Okay, this is the filter that's going into it. It's a K and N K A double one double one filter. Uh, high flow. Uh, you can see it is uh, stainless steel. Both sides. There's a groove on one side. Uh, no groove on this side. The groove side goes down. It's pre oiled so you don't have to oil it when you first get it just make sure you have a good look at it because sometimes there's small stainless steel slithers on the filter it's just from manufacturing uh, make sure you take them off uh, get them out because you don't want them going through your engine so that's it uh, like I said this one's pre-oiled uh, there is an oil recharge kit that you can get for them. I'll just sit that in there. And that should sit nice and snug down there. Now, as I said before, they can be recharged. That's the recharger kit. It's got what you got? I'm not sponsored by K and N either, so I just think their products are okay. A lot of people uh, have their own opinions about them, but I don't. I don't have any problem with them. Um, that's a cleaner, cleaner degreaser. So when you go to clean your filter, you spray it with that, leave it for five minutes, and then wash it off, just with water. Uh, let it dry thoroughly and then you spray it with the uh, aerosol oil that's the red oil, it's the same oil uh, you can get a uh, oil that's not aerosol I would suggest aerosol, uh, it's just easy to use it's pretty cheap too Okay, the new air filter's in. It's snugged up there. It's nice and tight. Um, it's not going anywhere. Make sure I haven't left anything in the box before I close it up. Okay, take my rags out. Just give it a quick check, maybe a bit of a wipe, just to make sure. And as soon as you can, you put your uh, air box cover back on. Now, as you can see, the air box cover has these uh, small prongs on here. Uh, that will snug the air filter right down. So it uh, won't move around and you won't, shouldn't get any uh, air leaks uh, where the air, unfiltered air goes around the filter. So that should snug it down quite nicely. So you just place that in there like so. Before you screw it down, you make sure it's a uh, nice snug fit. I usually start with the center screw, magnetic screwdriver also helps. Now you don't have to over tighten them, it is only plastic, if you over tighten them you'll strip them out. 
then you can start putting the rest in. And like I said, I don't use the drill drive for this because it will tighten them too much and could strip them out and you really don't want that. So when you're doing these, probably do them in a bit of a diagonal. Okay, all the screws are in, just give it a bit of a move around, make sure it's nice and uh, snug, make sure you put your clip in the back, back in, snug it down, okay, that's all good to go, and now it's ready for the tank to come down, okay, it's time to drop the tank down, just be careful of these elastic straps, they're spring loaded and they will spring back, they could damage your paint, your eyes, anything. Uh, make sure that um, your pipe here, this tubing, does not get pinched, could have troubles if it does. Pull these out, and go down. They should pull out a bit. Yeah, you should remember, you shouldn't really have to force anything. Uh, yeah, you do have to pull things aside, but if you're really forcing stuff, um, there's something wrong. So just step back a bit, uh, take a look at it, and you might find that something's a bit caught up. It's easy enough to fix it up then. Instead of breaking something and having to replace it. Yeah. That's there. I'll just tighten this tank down before I put the fairing back on.
Now while I've got my screwdriver here, I'll just cinch these up a little bit. Okay, it's good. Now for the fairings, first of all you've got to pop them back in. Make sure they're lined up, give them a bit of a Should be lined up there. So you drop your plastic plugs in first. Make sure they're all nice in there. Then just pop them down. Like that. Okay, the fairings in, all done. Just take all this stuff off. Don't need any more. Okay. The only problem with the magnetic uh, screw holders is they stick to everything. It's a small price to pay, but. Make sure the seat is in correctly, in the locators. Chuck these back in. Chuck the 
seats on. Give these a bit of a tighten up. Again, don't tighten these up too much, just a bit. Because you know, never know if you're out in the road and you don't have the correct tools and you've got to get to your batteries or something. Um, yeah, if they're way too tight, it uh, is a problem. Okay. Rear seat can go back on. There you go, it's all back together. Now K and uh, they give you a sticker. I guess you can use that for whatever you want. Up to you really. That's a sticker. Now what do I usually do with my OEM parts? Uh, that's the box that came in. Uh, KA uh, with four ones after it. That's for a, a Ninja 1000SX 2021. I think they go from 2017 to 2021, maybe earlier. Unsure. Um, now, I keep all my OEM parts, just in case I need them later. Uh, so that goes back in the bag that the K&N came in. Goes in the box. Now when you buy one of these things, uh, you do see a square air filter on the front. Yeah, that threw me off a little bit too, because I thought, no, it's a triangle one. Um, the part number is what you want to look at. That'll tell you what's in there. Okay, that's about it. Okay guys, that's about it. Uh, I'll wrap this video up now. Uh, I'm pretty much new to doing these sort of videos. Uh, I'm going to try and post a few more as I go, uh, as I do more to the bike, uh, a few ride videos, uh, vlogs, and we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, just like and subscribe and try and get my uh, subscription up a bit so I can make more videos. Cheers. See you later.